you may know, I'm Vanessa, and if you've never seen me before, hi, I'm Vanessa. And I do want to apologize for how long this video has taken. A lot of things kept on happening to always make me postpone or be unable to film. Case in point, right now I'm suffering from a concussion from getting flown off a golf cart and then a few days later falling on the steps. But I decided over six months was a long enough away long enough wait and I would I want to try really hard to get this out for you guys I want to thank you all for your patience and hopefully I do a good enough job of answering all the questions everyone's been asking I had five hours <laughs> <laughs> while I waited for my mysterious guest yes yes a uh, guest of honor Ooh. let me know that I won't wait five hours just just guess <gasps> my demotion no! I was telling him I really should have spent this time to script something I did not <laughs> Wait, are you sitting right there? Yeah. I'm gonna, all right, I don't want to spin it with you. I bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Drum roll, please. Hi! <laughs> it is Vanessa! I'm the mysterious guy! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is my lovely friend, M Scorbs. If you befriend him enough, we can call him M Scorbs HD. No, hold on now. You're not there yet. Maybe subscribe to him first. Boom. We'll throw some links down below. Boom. But anyway, he has been my mentor in all things PC because I'm not always the most educated person. And well, you know, we all could use some education. Oh, sorry, we're saying. No, no, no. no oh, okay. Go. Anyway, like I was saying. <clears throat> oh wow. I get a lot of requests about the information of all my parts and everything, which I would love to care and share. Uh, which I'm about to do now. Since September, you see my calendar? It's December. Since September, we've been making moves, not money moves, Boom. but making moves Boom. to make this happening. And it's happening now. Building a PC from scratch, not the type of scratch where I've built this manually, but parts <laughs> by parts that I could buy. Boom, boom, boom. And they are bought. Yes. And some gifted. Mm -hmm. Which, if you did give me a gift, I will personally thank you in this video. I didn't gift her one. Yeah, but he's gonna give me gift me a belated um gift. When I say gifted, it's not because I have just such strong supporters. It's because my birthday was in October, and uh, y'all can put it in your calendar, October fourth. Always yeah. happy birthday, man. Thank you. I already said it. I just want to say. It. Are you sure you said it? Yes. He you doesn't did? believe me. Believe I'll get you. my receipt. Oh, you okay? Well, we'll save it for another time. <laughs> you ready? You ready? You ready? Okay, smile with teeth. Mm-hmm. The sexy beast of Ooh. A. Ah. I first say about yourself. I don't want to be like, no, excuse me now. For people that would like a similar sexy beast in their home, sorry, I'm one of a kind, but uh, this sexy beast is. I am available. Like yes. I said, all his, uh, <laughs> like I said, all his links are below. A Corsair Spec Omega RGB ATX uh, Mid Tower yes. Case. Between you and me. Yes. Uh, what? You have to say it now. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say it to them. I said between you and me, not between them. Well, what then? Then you'll cut it out. Okay. <laughs> my CPU. For my CPU, uh -huh. we have chosen. Ah. Ooh, thank you, lovely assistant. AMD Ryzen 7 2700X ooh, model. Very good, actually. Very powerful. Gonna do exactly what she needs it to do. Basically. The only difference between the X and the not X is that it's just overclocked and AMD is very uh, hard to overclock and instead of spending hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours trying to overclock it for like what, 30 bucks more, if it's on sale, you can get it free overclocked. Thank you Tato for gifting me my CPU cooler, Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition 57.3 CFM CPU. Cooler. <laughs> Why am I reading these names word for word? Well, I don't have the greatest memory skills, and it's easier to cool that way if you wanted to get the same thing. For my motherboard, we have the Asus. Asus, that is how you pronounce it. Or do I have to go A-S-S-U-S? Asus. Asus Prime X470 Pro ATX 4M4 motherboard. Uh, following this, we have my source of memory. G Scale Trident Z Ooh. RGB 16 gigabytes and by 16 gigabytes I mean two sticks of eight. Very good RAM actually. Very jealous. I might get my own very soon. Uh, for my storage, I have SanDisk SSD plus one terabyte. Ter Boom. Terabyte. 
2.5 inch solid state drive. Thank you, Emma and Vita, for that. Very fast, very good. I very really nice. wanted to open something, so I opened that. For my video card, we have the Sapphire Radeon. Not Radeon, but Radeon, Radeon. Radeon, you said it correctly. Hang on, let me just backtrack. <clears throat> video card, Sapphire Radeon RX um, 598 oh. GB Nitro Plus. Make sure you blur that out before I put my hand over it. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do special effects just, like that. Just put it, I'll teach you. <laughs> Stop laughing! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. It did come in like yellow and blue. But light blue was the cheapest option for the same, same, literally same card. Made no sense, but cheap is cheaper. Yeah. I would have preferred black or pink. But don't knock it. It's still a great card. Yeah. Thank you, Mark, for my power supply. EVGA Supernova <clears throat> G1 Plus 650W A Plus Gold Certified Fully Module ATX Power Supply. Got an Elgato capture card. Boom! Uh, HG60 Pro. Very good. Mm -hmm. Record the gameplay. Does what she needs it to. Nothing too special about this. Just a regular capture card. But you gotta get Elgato. What else are you gonna get? Nothing. You wanna hear a little story? Absolutely. I was at Best Buy mm -hmm. and uh, the guy was making a small chit chat with me. And he's like, oh, so uh, YouTube, Twitch, or maybe it's like a third option. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, Twitch, ha ha ha. Do I look like the streamer type? He's like, I like your coat because I like. I'll put it. You can, y'all who know me, I like I like 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 cool looking fur coats, mm -hmm. fake fur coats. Um, and then it occurred to me once I was in the parking lot that he did not just assume I was a streamer. I was literally buying a device to stream. It's okay. There's the brand Razor, specifically Razor and their line Razor Quartz. So it's mm -hmm. everything pink. And I have their keyboard, the Huntsman keyboard. <laughs> Let me see if it has any fancy. I don't think it has any fancy names. That's the better picture on the back. Ah, uh, yes. It's the Razor Huntsman. Yes, ballistic mouse indeed. Ballistic mouse, Very pink. and then their RGB large mouse pad. Goliath, <laughs> Goliath, the extended chroma gaming mouse pad with RGB lighting. Did you guess it, it's pink? Oh, mm, it's gray. It's like that one little spot of pink. Uh, and then headset. <laughs> Boom! With the preview. And with cat ears. <laughs> and a little microphone. Because I didn't buy their microphone. Because their microphone is stands on the desk. And if it stands on the desk, it's going to hear all the... Very loud. So my advisor has advised me to get one that hangs. Anyway, shout out to Isaiah. Thank you very much for my cat ears and headset. Continuing my headset holder. Boom. Razer Base Station Chroma Quartz headset with USB hub and RGB lighting. Oh, he's got to have that RGB. My lovely chair. Ah. Adjustable goes up, down. These go up, down. They go in, out, out. Regular. Very nice ergonomics. Um, reclines, mm -hmm. does all that. It's pink. Anyway, this chair. Got it off Amazon. A lot of questions about it. Just look up Crayola Pink Gaming Chair with foot rest armrest adjustable. You don't need the rest. Just look up Pink Gaming Chair. Also connecting to my PC build, even though the PC is the master race. Shout out to Ruvium. I wonder if I can... Yo, you got a little glimpse of it. That's what... Okay. <laughs> As I was telling him, this is my holiday armadillo. Name? Tex, the holiday armadillo. You know why its name is Tex? Well, I... Uh, because when I was younger, I was in a Christmas musical, and I was t Tex, the pink cowgirl Christmas ornament. And she has a pink cowgirl hat like I did. And when I and when she was gifted to me like maybe a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. it was around Thanksgiving, and I was watching Friends, and he has the holiday armadillo come to his son because the Santa suits are sold out. <laughs> so she's texts the holiday armadillo. Wow. My speakers are just the regular speakers. Thank you, Jason, as well as thank you, Jason, for my Windows software <laughs> loaning me that USB. My holiday M armadillo and my Isabel figurine inside my case. There she is in all her glory. My webcam, and I do recommend getting a little cover because it just 
has a sense of ease. Seeing as I both switch cords in the back between playing uh, and recording my PS4 and my Switch, I did have to buy an extra HDMI cable off Amazon. And for internet, I did not do an ethernet cord, I did a TP-Link adapter. I'm not gonna show which one because I'm having a lot of internet issues to this day on and off trying to figure out. So I don't recommend that one, but that is what I did. And Matt, that's a tip you're gonna want to repeat for the camera. I will, and when we start. Oh, Hi, how oh, are you? We, we, I'm Scores HD here. This motherboard, um, there's a process to putting a motherboard together, and you just don't want to go willy nilly into it, especially if you unfortunately have carpet in your. He room. says, as looking at me when I'm not even looking. The camera's at him. on me. They know. Well, I'm, well, I'm just narrating. You know the closed captioning. <laughs> closed captioning. There you go. Yes. Yeah, so carpet on your floor is not the best. A uh, place to start messing around with electronics, but it's still doable very much still doable Whenever dealing with some electronic parts on a carpet floor in, in worst case scenario. I'm wearing very Very thick socks Do you want to pick up your socks? Absolutely not. What you want to do is always touch the middle So the tripod right here that's holding up the camera That's what I'm gonna keep touching while messing with this so and that's the will too put the motherboard on the motherboard box the best way to learn um, to put it together. Always want to hold the motherboard by the strongest piece, which is usually the, the what's it called? The uh, hub here that has all the inputs. You always hold it by the, 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 the sides. You don't try to touch anything else, but there it is. Very pretty. Always look at the manual. I read my manual and it still took me about four hours to build my PC. It was my first PC. You always want to match up the labels on the part to the board. I know you guys can't really see it that well, but you'll see it. So this is SLI bridge. This means if you have two graphics cards that are compatible to connect to each other, you would use this. Now what we need to do is the processor. Some would argue it should not be the first thing, but I mean technically our motherboard was the first thing. Yeah. But Other I mean connecting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Comes with a CPU cooler, so this is very nice because Wait, one. Did you ever turn the other one on? No, that one is better. I just didn't tell you. But yes, this is a CPU cooler that comes stock with mm -hmm. CPU. Some come with it, some don't. But if you buy an aftermarket one, they're usually better. Maybe not by a crazy amount, but some by a crazy amount. And that one, very much so. And one of my CPUs did not come with one, and one of them did. I just didn't use it. This is the power, okay? This is the heart of the whole build. Besides me, because I am I am the heart. He's opening it up. Why'd you rub the tripod like that? Why would you put say that out loud? Nobody needs to know why I rub the tripod, but now everybody knows how I rub the tripod. I rubbed the tripod. Mini pins, damage one, damage the whole thing. He's stressing me, I'm stressing. You always wanna look for the arrow on the, uh, the CPU port. I'm gonna call everything a port because I don't need proper names. I can't think of it right now. You lay it down and it almost falls in. It's not inserted, but it's in place to be inserted. There you go. Lift it all the way up, over. Now we put this back. She already put it in, so she technically did it already. Pressure. Before memory sticks, you want to put in the CPU cooler because it could block the memory sticks, but we've checked that and it should be fine. Here, you can open this mini box. There's something inside. So the goodies from this box are included with mounts. Because not every mount is the same. I don't know. Some of them come pre-applied. Here's Matt Googling if the thermal paste my father gave us will work. Gotta make sure. Because I'd think it. We on our way to Walmart slash Best Buy to buy some thermal paste yes, and yes. to get a price adjustment on my Elgato. Uh, we got thermal paste. Yes, yes. And then and then we came home and then we opened up some. We, well, we just opened our eyes more, <laughs> and then we already had some. I ended the video when Matt was really happily talking about his cable management. And I thought he was done, so this is my um, apology video. <laughs> Oh no, there's a hole in my CPU case. I mean, my PC case. Michael. <laughs> Why are you laughing at my listening face? Because your listening face looks like you just... Shut the fuck up. No, that's my appreciating listening face. Which he doesn't appreciate how ironic. <laughs> Hi, we're like five hours deep into building. M-Scores has a dead phone. 
And then he picks up my Switch charger. He's like, Vanessa. And I'm like, yes. He's like, you know I could have been charging my phone with this. And I'm like, with my Switch charger? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I offered you the type of, like, jewel chargers and whatnot. Because they were the same. I don't jewel. Well, nor do I. I just have that type of charger. Yeah, so I guess it is different. It's different. You're dope. <laughs> Was this in? Boop, and then I rub. What is that gonna plug in? This is the CPU RGB thingy. Okay. <laughs> Have slides ready. Yeah. Push in. It's almost the exact same way as that Elgato. You know how to do it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bummed that my fancy smancy computer can't even read a disc. What if I want to play my childhood games? Can you download it? No. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes me think of a car wash. <laughs> it's very nice, very nice back play. I can imagine like a diva gun having a skin like this. Yeah. Yeah, the third runner up for sexiest computer part. I have a reference for I, how I am the Hokage. Try <laughs> push it in. I, asterisk subtext with the help of M scores HG back to original text built the computer we are taking another road trip Hello. to his house yes yes to pick up said gifted monitor yes yes because my monitor that I have doesn't have an HDMI port and I don't have the HDMI splitter thing yet not splitter but like port thing basically we're taking another trip and we ain't done yet we have a proper monitor the other one didn't have an HDMI port um, and we didn't have a VGA cable. So, but that's, this is literally the moment. How long have you been working on this? Since September. Mm -hmm. And it is December. Mm -hmm. Not very long to some, but the patience we both had. The intricate planning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very much. Not to mention, for years, thinking about it, but to be putting it into action. Okay, so we double checked everything. This is the moment of the truth if, if, if we don't fucked up. If we did anything right. That's the power supply. Now I turn on the monitor. Okay. We wait till this blacks out. It's the moment of the truth. The power button. <gasps> the power button. The power button. The fan still have to spin. That's my beautiful motherboard. <laughs> you gotta just press the thing. Maybe I need to click it longer. Wait, I need the right. Oh, that's a reset. You Debo. <laughs> she hits the freaking reset. It's the biggest button, and she hits the. <gasps> oh. No, that's okay. What matters here? <gasps> yeah, it's gonna keep doing that. It's just trying to figure itself <gasps> out. This is what matters. I can't zoom in to show you, but it's beautiful. Matt's been starving himself for this very moment. We did it. I didn't want to eat anything until it posted. It posted. <laughs> After he, he, he munches a little bit, we're gonna make it a little cleaner inside, mm -hmm. screw some things back in, and then connect some of my peripherals. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Me and Matt just kind of, uh, rewired everything because we wanted to look neater we're not done yet but we took a break from filming because we were just literally unplugged everything and replugged it in and then halfway through that unplugged it again and replugged it in again because yeah. we wanted it to be um make it easier for the future and now we're just testing a few things before we wrap up for the day <laughs> lots of cable management later we've reached progress little update so obviously one of my monitors is newer than the other one but they can still be compatible with another this one only takes uh hdmi and this one does not take hdmi but it can take vga and dvi so lucky enough for me i had a dvi to dvi cable uh because my video card had a spot for it and i could connect both hdmi and dvi so both my monitors are good to go since my monitors are two different sizes, I just built myself a little shelf from Amazon. I'm not going to say which one because I don't recommend it. A lot of people do ask, how much did everything cost? And I will tell you, I'm going to be honest, because 
you know, if I were watching this video and I loved it and I wanted to one day build something similar, I would want an idea of how much would the estimate be. And keep in mind though, uh, there are our parts. I do not have the best of everything, but some things I did splurge a little bit on. Or I splurged a little bit on because I just liked how it looked or something. Even just a <laughs> pink chair. So there are corners you could scratch off or corners you could cut uh, to make things a little bit cheaper. And everything that was gifted to me or just given out of the kindness of, of a heart because someone didn't need it anymore, I am very grateful whether it would have was $200 or $20. I appreciated it all. This did not happen overnight. It was over the course of a long time acquiring the funds and all the parts to build and set up. And I did try to keep um, a list and keep track of my stuff uh, via PC Part Picker. I recommend if you are planning to build your own PC, that is a great place to start. It helps you out a lot. But a lot of things I don't know the exact price of, either because they are no longer available online or because uh, that was gifted to me and it doesn't really, I don't really know what is what exact model of something it is. It all comes to about uh, $2,700, $800 which is mind-boggling that you look and you're like damn why would you spend that much but also keep in mind this everything you see from even just the shelf to the table which is not even the fancy parts is included in that at the end of the day I very much love it and I did not have any computer no laptop no nothing I only just had my phone and my iPad on my life so it was a big deal for me to finally have my own little computer there's definitely people out there who are gonna be like oh my god 2800 that's nothing ha 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 what a noob well i'm also i'm not rich or anything so it's a lot to me but then also at the same time people would be like oh my god pay more than like 200 dollars." <gasps> everyone's range of their budget is different and you know what i'm not gonna have the same computer for forever uh over time you know one day i'll I'll have extra spending money and I'll upgrade something or I'll change something and it's a journey it doesn't need to be perfect right away if you're building your own computer don't feel bad that it doesn't look as crazy as someone else's if you go on Pinterest or Instagram man you'll see some amazing builds but it's okay my computer my computer is not as crazy like that but you'll enjoy your computer anyway and if you if that's where you want to be one day don't feel you have to be the best right away. Don't feel that you have to, you can only stream once everything is perfect. You can only game once everything is perfect. Starting is what matters. And enjoying the process and as long as you keep doing what you are liking, that's what matters. I would like to thank everyone for just holding out, watching this video, and yeah, I'm just visiting my channel. It means a lot to me, even just if there's five of you out there who only care or 1,500. To me, I appreciate every one of you either way, and hopefully you'll follow me, subscribe. I'll have my good friend Mscore's his links down below, so you can check him out. I stream a lot with him on Twitch sometimes, you know, when I'm not having any internet problems. And I'll also link my own things. <laughs> You're okay. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll have another updated YouTube video for you guys soon. It's just me and my gamer puppies.